Hello and welcome to uh, another update, uh, the 10th, and as perhaps many of you would expect, uh, I haven't been uh, had many hours sleep, it's been uh, quite an interesting evening, and I want to go in and uh, tell you stuff that perhaps is new to you, and some that might not be, but we can give you some clarification. Okay, uh, it's not unusual for me to receive messages at all times of the day and the night, but the message that I received yesterday started off with the words this is not a drill and those of you who've served uh, in one way or the other you will know what that means so i immediately realized that this was not the normal message in the sense that it was <clears throat> um, intel yet to happen this was something of a, of a great significance uh, the original plan was for the president at uh, midnight eastern eastern time that's the east coast to make an address to the people uh, with um, Mike Pompeo doing a half an hour a release on Twitter, then every 15 minutes, then every 10 minutes, then every five minutes. That was the original plan, a sort of a countdown. That's what the military wanted. That didn't happen in the end because events overtook what was to happen. Uh, eight days ago, I was told to expect this action not yesterday, uh, Wednesday to come so I wasn't expecting this until you know three days or so time uh, and I had a whole plan laid out to alert all my coordinators uh, for them to pass it on to the members and then you know to, to the general public uh, that plan went out the window because uh, this operation was brought forward um, I need to explain to you what's happened why that's had to be brought forward uh, those of you who've done your research and those of you who haven't, have a good look. But you'll know that Pakistan suffered a huge power outage. Uh, about 40% of the country, that's a big country, 40% of the country was out. Uh, for most people, they scratch their heads and say, well, we've never heard Pakistan in the news. What's all this about? And uh, I like to tell you. Um, General Electric. Uh, for those of you who don't know, is a very big defense contractor. It's an American company, uh, and uh, the F-16, I believe, uh, uh, General Dynamics F-16, I believe used a General Electric uh, turbojet or a fan jet. Many uh, American fighters have General Electric as the engine. There are three main big companies. One is Pratt & Whitney, the other is General Electric, and the other, of course, is Rolls-Royce. If I've forgotten any of you uh, engine manufacturers, I'm very sorry. Right, President Trump is not at all happy with um, American companies being sold to China. And most of the uh, employees of General Electric didn't realize that they were on the verge of having their company sold to a Chinese conglomerate. And as you know, all Chinese conglomerates lead to the Chinese Communist Party. The, the, the offer bid was $5.4 billion dollars. The deal was to take place in Pakistan. When uh, the Chinese realized that Donald Trump was onto them, predominantly through Nancy Pelosi's laptop and 15 others that were taken during the uh, mayhem in the Capitol building, uh, they brought forward this deal. They wanted General Electric to, to get across into to China very quickly. Uh, and can you imagine uh, if you were in the United States Air Force or any European Air Force, and you should go to war with China, um, you would be flying an aeroplane uh, and fighting an aeroplane that had the same engine that you had. And that was not ever going to happen. And so what happened was that uh, the plan to go live on Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, hello darling, Tuesday or Wednesday was brought forward to last night because the Chinese have brought forward their plan to, to sign the deal, which was to take place in Pakistan. That is why there was an outage in Pakistan. Let's move on quickly. Uh, I, I've only had one report. And those of you who know me, no, I don't go live with you guys until I have two uh, independent reports telling me the same thing. I cannot confirm that the Italian prime minister has been arrested. Uh, I can tell you that, that it is true that an Italian judge signed a warrant for his arrest and also signed a warrant for the arrest of a very high ranking leading um, general who was responsible for the Leonardo or Leonardi uh, satellites. 
the Italian government is up to their neck in this, but a deal is trying to be done with the United States or with Trump to say that, um, can we please say that the Leonardi satellites were hacked? Therefore, it absolves the Italian government from um, prosecution. And I think the Americans might be saying, yes, OK, we'll accept that, but you've got to arrest X, Y and Z. So that's what's happening in Italy. Uh, there was a, a considerable power outage in Berlin. Um, don't be surprised because we had all the Dominion servers in Frankfurt in Germany and there was some administrative stuff in Berlin that had to be dealt with. That's that. There is a curfew in Quebec <clears throat> from uh, 8 p.m. until 5 a.m. And if you're driving from the uh, United States into Canada and those borders, you might expect your car to be searched. I think they're stopping one in every three or one in every five as a random check. So that's going on there. Yesterday, uh, regular troops, not National Guard, regular troops were deployed in California. And I did post that on my website, simonparks.org. Um, and there are some uh, troop movements. Yes, I know there are troop movements all over the place. It's regular, but this was part of this operation. Um, here's the exciting news. Well, it's all exciting, isn't it? <laughs> but the Insurrection Act was signed last night. That is why I got the message this is not a drill. So the Insurrection Act has been signed by the president. Uh, do not expect President Trump to bother to go to Congress to be inaugurated. Uh, you American guys and lasses will know very well it's not the first time that a president has been inaugurated in the White House. And I'm expecting the president to be inaugurated in the White House. Um, in terms of uh, Britain, uh, I also got a message the the people who uh, are uh, you know looking after me can I put it like that uh, know where I live and they've said that um, they are expecting some power outages in the United Kingdom uh, not for very long but it could affect uh, the pumps the water pumps that pump our drinking water and uh, there could be could be in some areas a power outage with no water being pumped. So if you're in a position this morning or this afternoon, whenever you get this, uh, get yourself some extra drinking water, perhaps fill a bathtub so you can uh, flush your lavatory. Uh, remember, if you have any pets like I do, uh, uh, make sure you keep your bathroom or, or doors closed. Don't let your pets fall and drown in the bath water. Um, we should expect the big names that we all know and talk about not to go in this first phase. There will be a number of phases and you know the, these phases will, will occur. Now, those of you who watched my, uh, I thought it was quite a nice chat with uh, Charlie Ward and, and Nicholas who was doing the hosting. Um, I, I knew to an extent what was coming and, and I couldn't sort of tell you guys exactly because I didn't know what day it was to be. We knew that it was Tuesday or Wednesday, but there will always a possibility to bring it forward. And if you want to play back that interview, I did my best to tell everybody. Um, I, I, I can't remember if it was a question from Nicholas. I said, um, look, Charlie, um, don't you think we've reached the end of the road? Don't you think we've got to do it? Um, you know, I, I got the joke of, you know, the, the big stick and people say to me, you know, what is it with you Brits? You always want to get in there and, and start walloping. Um, and I said to Charlie, don't you think we've reached the end of the game? Don't you think he needs to sign the Insurrection Act or what have you? Uh, and I think I said to Charlie, don't you think it's time to stop dancing around? That was the best thing I could do to say, look, I'm expecting Tuesday, Wednesday, but, you know, they might bring this forward. So check that back and you'll see that I said that. Uh, you'll also, if you check back, goodness knows if you have any time, but check back, and I said of uh, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, he's going to play a really important role in, in the coming, coming weeks. And I said that he had to be pardoned because he couldn't hold office unless the president had pardoned him. And what I can tell you, within 20 minutes of him being pardoned, he had already received all of his top secret clearances. So he could go back into the Pentagon um, and do whatever he needed to do. Um, now, I can't confirm what I'm going to tell you now, but based on, on what I'd already told you guys about Flynn being really important, do not 
be surprised if Lieutenant General Flynn is put forward as the Vice President under Trump in the coming administration. So you sort of heard it here first, but I can't absolutely guarantee that. What I can say to you is that uh, I already knew when he was pardoned and the conversations I had that there was a role. And, and I know some people get a bit cross with me and they were saying, oh, you know, look at Simon's telling, telling the general what to do. No, I wasn't. I was just aware that, that Trump had a very big role for Lieutenant General Flynn. Now, that might end up being something else. It might be another post in government, but I wouldn't personally be surprised if he is offered the position of vice president uh, and Trump, of course, will be the president. Um, in fact, the, the, the mainstream media, of course, uh, at this stage will be able to successfully blank everything out. They will be because they are not the target at the moment. And it's so important that, you know, you don't watch mainstream news don't watch any clips of the president because they will be cgi changed they will be hacked so that they don't make any sense or they will just not be carried you need to get on to those patriot sites that have agreed to carry the president's message in full if those main sites can't operate because silicon valley uh, takes them down then the emergency broadcast service will be used for the United States, including Hawaii, of course, uh, which will come onto your cell phones and will broadcast messages to you. Um, but that really and truly is a last resort. Uh, and so it's unfolding. Don't expect it within the lightning 24 hours. This is going to have to go on uh, up to about the 19th of January. And uh, thereafter, all of the middle rankers, all of the deeply dug in assets again have to be dealt with. But what has to happen is that Biden has to be arrested and it has to be public. Um, I personally don't want any sort of side deals with the man. Um, we were seeing uh, released uh, pictures. Uh, I, I, I asked them not to be shown around my network, except we have what we call in, in MeWe Pro, we have what we call the dark corner, um, because I don't want to stop information, but I don't want uh, people who are in my organization who, you know, are gonna be traumatized by some of this stuff. So we have what we call the dark corner, and there were pictures that the military have released of Biden's laptop, which are pedophilia photographs. Um, and uh, I know members were very critical of Becky saying, you know, you've, 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 you're pulling these. Now she acted under my orders because uh, there are plenty of, of, of members of Connecting Consciousness who themselves are survivors of ritual abuse uh, and of paedophilia. And uh, it's not right for them to open their uh, laptops and then be hit with that picture. That isn't about healing, that's trauma. So I've had those removed and we're gonna put those in the dark corner they are genuine pictures uh, of Hunter Biden. Um, some of them, one of them has done the rounds before and the mainstream pulled it very quickly, even closing some sites that were operating it. But there are new new pictures uh, which are available. I don't particularly, uh, I've, I've, I've seen them once and I don't need to see them again. I did write that this man needs to be locked up. So this is the situation, um, you know, I, I don't get uh, the, the, I get the timings that are given to me um, and then literally within an hour those timings can change. So there were some people who got very cross. Uh, look, you know, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to be given a warning and then say, hmm, I better not go with this because do you know what? In an hour, these people might pull this time back. No, my job is to alert you. My job is to tell you. And if I don't get the timings right, I give you the timings that are correctly given to me. But I'm not sitting in the operations room in Texas or and the other two operations rooms that, that President Trump is in. President Trump is not in Camp David at the moment. He's underground with his family in secure locations. As the person said to me, um, as snug as a bug in a rug. So very well protected. And these timings, hello, come and say hello. Come on, Fran. These timings are 
accurately given to me, these actions, hello darling, accurately given, but they will change at a moment's notice. And as much as perhaps these people do like me, they've got so many other things on their mind that if they've told me, look, it's going to happen at whatever time and whatever day, and then it's brought forward or put back uh, four or five hours, they will say, Simon has alerted his network. They need to be ready. Uh, and if it's four or five hours either way, it doesn't matter because the message has got out. If somebody's going to start moaning at me, you said it would happen now and it happened four hours or five hours later. Well, honestly, I, I've got more on my plate at the moment to deal with than that sort of nonsense. My job is to get the message out. It's your job, if you don't mind me saying so, to do your research, to hit as many of these sites that are still operating and get that information and do it. Um, you know, we're, we're getting, of course, we're getting a lot of the uh, Antifa uh, Black Lives Matter attack now. Um, I expect that. Uh, I will be as open and truthful with you as I can. And when I'm told I can't disclose something, I'll disclose it in another way <laughs> because I am absolutely committed to giving you the truth and the facts that are given to me. But if I'm only getting it from one source, I will wait until I get an independent source that corroborates it, and then I'm confident and I'll give it to you guys. There is one source that I don't have to do that with. There's one source that comes to me um, that's coming from uh, a member of somebody that's close with the uh, decision-making team. I don't need a second on that one. I'll get that, I'll go with it. And that's the one that said to me, this is no drill. And you know, um, I'm getting that information. So we've got, we've had blackout in Pakistan, I've explained why. Blackout in Berlin has to do with <clears throat> Dominion and some individuals. Um, we've got the closing of some of the borders uh, between the United States and Canada. That's because they're particularly worried about somebody, a group trying to escape into Canada. Uh, I'm going to tell you that the United States Air Force uh, is absolutely watching the skies for any private aircraft attempting to leave that doesn't have authorization. Uh, I can tell you that the United States Coast Guard and the, the, the Navy are looking for any private yachts or boats that are trying to break cover and escape. Uh, this is a very exciting time. It's what we predicted. Uh, mainstream will at the moment be able to cover this because it's not, it's not a great tsunami. They can cover it. We're building towards that. Um, the difficulty with the Pope, sorry, I'm going back, but you know, it's been, it's been an exciting time. The difficulty with the Pope is that I received one piece of information in the summer of last year that he'd already been taken out. And do you remember that uh, TV thing where the Pope, a news broadcast where the Pope came to the window to address the uh, faithful and then he disappeared before he went back in. I can confirm to you that was uh, either a holograph or CGI I, I personally believe it was holograph. I've had these holographs demonstrated to me and I talked uh, to Charlie Ward about that. That's why I deliberately did it because I knew that the Pope was going to be one of the first targets. But I couldn't tell you that, but I could just tell you about the holograph. When you see it side on, it's as thin as a piece of paper. Um, so if let us say that the, that the Pope has already been removed and was removed last summer, uh, it's very easy to arrest a dead man. It's very easy for Italy to say, yeah, we've arrested the Pope <laughs> um, because it's no skin off their nose, as we say in Great Britain. It's no problem for them. Uh, there's no issue for them. But let's just say he's not dead. Uh, then they will have to at some point arrest him because he's absolutely implicated in uh, the, the, the satellites were controlled by the Vatican. If he's no longer there, then it's some of the cardinals who are deeply embedded with the satanic forces that have you know manipulated that now you know that news if that news comes out that's why italy and a lot of catholics in strong positions in in the good guys positions in the white hats are very unhappy about releasing information around the catholic faith because it will um it will destroy the catholic faith it will destroy it to its core if it was released that uh the pope indeed had been involved in paedophilia or had done this or had done that. So that's a really difficult one. Now, for those of us who, uh, you know, fight the good fight, we would say, so what? And I would say, 
let the truth come out. I, I've always consistently said that the public need to have all the truth laid out on the table in front of them because I personally believe that people can take it. I personally believe that people have the right to see everything and then make their own mind up. Well, I'm not, I'm not in America yet. <laughs> I'm not there making those decisions. And so you might well find that the decision is made that the damage in, in destroying a what is perhaps the world's biggest religion from the Western perspective uh, is not worth having. But it's all playing out, it's all happening, and I will give you the updates. All my updates are sent to my website, simonparks.org, um, and we will just see where it goes. So that's my main news, uh, and good luck. And um, if those emergency broadcasts come onto your cell phone in the United States, I think you will be told to stay indoors, um, to perhaps prepare some food, water, to listen to the particular broadcasts. Do not go on to mainstream media. They are at war now with uh, the Republic. And, you know, that's where we are with it. So thanks very much. I need to get this out. I hope Andy will be in a position to get this out quickly. Thanks very much. Take care. Hello, just a very, very quick follow on. I don't normally uh, respond like this, but um, lots of people have written in and saying, uh, no, no, Simon, you're wrong. This was a power outage or a, a blackout in, in uh, Germany last year, 2019, or just over a year ago now. Yeah, I am aware that there was a blackout in 2019. I'm not mistaken what's happened now with what happened before. This is a much smaller area than last time. This is to do with a uh, certain amount of equipment that is in Berlin, uh, not Frankfurt, but Berlin. And yes, I know the photograph is old, but um, my, my uh, tech guy loves me to put pictures and I couldn't put a photograph of France, the, uh, the Arc de Triomphe or, or London, uh, House of Parliament or Big Ben. So I had to find a picture that was German and that picture that I used was great because it had uh, the Brandenburg Gate on it. So just because I might use a photograph that is a year old doesn't mean I'm, I'm looking back to old information. You know, there has been a power blackout in Berlin, not all of Berlin, part of Berlin, uh, part of the operation, just the same as there's been in, in Pakistan, just as the same as we've got situations on the border with Canada, just as the same that the stuff going on in Italy, just as the same stuff's going to happen in Britain and other countries as well. Um, and, and I would respectfully ask you, instead of jumping on the bandwagon and criticizing me or telling me I'm wrong, um, why don't you go and listen to somebody else? You know, if you think you've got up-to-date intel, if you have the sort of sources I've got, why are you listening to me? You go out and do your own thing. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm far too busy to be bothered with that sort of criticism at the moment. Uh, if you're sitting in your armchair, uh, you haven't a concept of what's taking place on the planet. This is the most important thing since the Second World War. Some people would say it was even more important because at least the United States was still the United States back then. And now the, the good guys are fighting for the heart and soul of the United States. But the last time that we had a situation as serious as this, it wasn't the Second World War. And remember, this isn't nonsense because the House Speaker, majority House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, was attempting to take the nuclear codes off the president. She was attempting to get the military to prevent the uh, chief of the staff, POTUS, uh, commander-in-chief from actually having control of that. Now, obviously it didn't work. That's how serious it is. That's how this war is now out in the open. So please, um, if you think you know better than I do, why don't you go and do your own broadcast and you can tell people where you get your information from. Uh, I'm doing my best. Uh, I do it with, with a good heart um, and the information I get, uh, I can be as clear as I can with it. Um, and I will continue to do so because I think the majority of people who listen to me want to hear up-to-date news. They want to be able to plan their life. They want to be able to know what's going on because they know they cannot rely on mainstream media. All right. Thank you.